hello beautiful people welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here you are very much welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always stopping by thank you so much for always watching my video for always commenting liking sharing thank you so much for always doing that so in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you how to cut and also how to sew this beautiful drawstring kimono jacket so if this is something you want to learn how to make if this is something you want to learn how to cut and also how to sew so let's just get started without wasting much time welcome guys for this tutorial i use two and a half yard of my fabric so the first thing i will do now is to measure 18 inches and please note that this fabric is folded into four that is i'm cutting both the back and the front piece together so the front piece it is 18 that is 18 by 18 that is 36 at the front 36 at the back so the next thing i'll be doing is to measure the length of my gown over there and add one inch sewing allowance to the bottom and i will add half inch to the upper part so i'm sorry you can't see that at the upper part but i just measured the length of my gown added one inch at the lower part and also added half inch at the upper part so i'll just be connecting it the half inch at the upper part is for the joining of the shoulder that is the shoulder joining so that's the essence of the half inch i added so as i've said earlier this is folded in 18 inches this 18 inches is dependent on my shoulder and the length of the kimono where i want the kimono to get to the length on the sleeve so that is what that is why i use 18 inches so if you want it to be longer or shorter you either reduce it or you add more to it so now i'll be measuring one and a half inches over there and i'll be slanting my shoulder i'll be measuring three inches from there so it's from that point i'll be slanting it so I'll just be slanting it like the way i'm doing in this video so the next thing i'll be doing is to measure the cuff of my kimono you know the kimono has to be free at the end so i use nine inches one inch seam allowance and half inch joining that's ten and a half so then i go in by two inches over here just two inches in so whatsoever i have remaining at this point i have close to 17 inches i have 17 inches at this point so i just continue marking the 17 inches downward so i have the 17 inches downwards so i just mark it to the end of my kimono length and i'll be connecting the line just straight down just straight down to the end so just 17 inches straight down like that so now i'll be cutting out the parts i need but before cutting out the part i need let us do our neckline so i measured one inches by three inches one inches by three inches over there to draw my neckline so i'll be cutting the back neckline for the front and the back bodies so later on i'll be draw, i'll be cutting out the front neckline so i'll just use my french curve or you can use your free hand to connect this to draw the neckline just like this then the next thing to do is just to cut out what we have so at this point over here i just make a slant curve just like that then i cut it out so this is what i have after cutting it out so this is what it looks like so the next thing i'll be doing now is to remove one of it no one will be for the back and the other one will be for the front so i'll be removing the one for the back away then i'll be drafting the neckline for the front so i'll be drafting the neckline for the front so for this front i'll just be drawing like a v neckline just be drawing it just like this so the length is around 15 inches or thereabouts okay it's around yeah around 15 inches so from the 
I don't know if you understand from where I drew this line from. So from the end of the neckline over there, I just slant it downward. Then I'll be cutting it away. Then I'll be opening up the front. You know, it's a jacket, so I'll be opening it up. So after doing that, this is what I have. So the next thing I want to do now is to measure the length of the side so that I can know the band slash the color I will be fixing. So I have 38 and the half over here and you know it is true so 38 at one side and 38 at the other side so i'll just keep that aside so for the back neckline i'm also measuring needs so i have four so that is 38 plus four that's 42 so i'll be cutting 42 for the for one side and 42 for the other side all together i have 84 so this is the band i'm talking about and it is four and a half inch wide and the length is 42 inches 42 inches times 2 that is 84 that's what i have there so these are the drawstring fabric that i'll be using so it is 2 inches by 46 inches so it is 23 times 2 that's 46 and the width is 2 inches so i'll just make that in form of a rope so now this is my back bodies this is the back bodies then i'll be placing the front to it then i'll be joining it at the shoulder so i'll start by joining it at the shoulder just with the half inch we added so that's just the allowance i'll use to join it so just half inch so after joining it this is what i have then i'll be fixing my collar i will just fold it into two like this then i'll place it so i'll place it like that and i'll sew it all round all round like that through the back and the front the other side so i'll just fold it in and sew it all round like that so after sewing this is what i have i'll just go ahead and iron it so that it can look nice so after ironing this is what it looks like so the next thing i'll be doing now is to m the opening of my sleeve just with half half inch both the, for both sides then i'll go ahead and fold the hemming of this lower part also so i'm just trying to cut out the s's i have there just half inch s's so i'll just fold these two by half inch half inch you know it's one inch we left for this hemming so I would, I would do it separately for the front no the front is now two and the back is just one so i'll do it separately so after doing that this is what i have so after hemming in this is what i have so the next thing i will be doing now is to join by the side and you know i said i'll be using one inch as my seam allowance you have to use one inch or one and a half you can't use less because of this drawstring so i'm using one inch to just sew it so after sewing it up i use my iron to open it up just like this so that it can make my work easier i open it up like this so now i'll be measuring 17 inches or oh, 16 inches i'll just be marking it at this point over here that is where my drawstring will start from so this is the rope i cut earlier i've went ahead to sew it and turn it out so this is what it looks like so now i'll just be placing it inside like that i'll be placing the rope inside like that and i will stitch down there just like that i'll stitch there not i'll just stitch like that then i'll place the rope inside then i'll just sew at the end over there down I'll just sew at the tip down there so i'll place the rope inside just like this and i'll just sew so there is two ways to do this and i'll show you shortly how i did it so there are two ways you can do it so anyone that works fine for you you can just use it so i'll go to the sewing machine very soon to show you how i will just sew this so now this is what i have i've sewn the rope to it i've attached the rope to it just like this so the next thing i'll be doing if you notice your rope is kind of too wide you can fold it in like this just fold it into two then you fold the fabric on it then you just start sewing at least you sew like quarter inch away not very close to the end 
just so like quarter inch away and make sure you are not sewing on the rope that is inside you have to be very careful so this is the first method i'll be using to sew and i'll also show you how to use the second method so anyone that works fine for you you can just use it so make sure you are not sewing on the rope that is very important because if you sew on the rope there's no way the rope can be adjusted so it will be hooked at that point so if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel if you haven't liked if you haven't commented please just do that now and if you haven't subscribed please just do that now thank you so this is the second method i'll be using so i'll be attaching it just like i've done just like i did for the first one i'll be attaching it first like this just one side i'll just be attaching it like just half inch just to secure the rope to the kimono so you ensure you sew it multiple times so that the, the rope will not remove on the long run so after doing this this is what i have here then for this method i will take the rope to the back i'll just remove the rope just like that like i'll just move it to the back like that just move it to the back then you you you, um, you sew on this but you leave like one inch one inch so now you sew towards the end ensure that you don't sew like very close to the end but at least quarter inch towards the end so after sewing now i will take my safety pin to pass the rope through the one inch opening i left over there so i'll just pass my safety pin to the end of the rope like this and i'll pass it through the one inch opening i have over there so this is the second method you can use so anyone that works fine for you you can just use it so you just pass it towards the end like that then you draw it so this is the other method so anyone that is easier for you just go ahead and use it please ensure you weave this part my sewing machine my weaving machine is not available that's why i didn't weave it please ensure you weave so that it won't be so that the thread of the fabric will not be removing and the inside will look neat so this is what it looks like i've gone ahead to do for the other side too so i went ahead so this is what it looks like from the outside this is what it looks like from the outside so i'll just i'm just trying to place i'm just trying to arrange the the kimono just to fold it you use my hand i'm just trying to use my hand to straighten it so the next thing i'll be doing now is to iron it and i'll put it on and i'll teach you how to go about the drawstring so this is it after wearing it without adjusting the drawstring or anything this is what it looks like and the rope is still dangling because i've not tied it yet so now this is how to tie it you just switch you just draw it like that since it's a drawstring so you just draw it then you sew it if you notice the rope is too long you can just keep tying it until you have a short rope and if you know you don't want the rope to be this long you can just reduce the length because the length of this rope was 46 you can reduce yours to like 30 if you don't want it to be too much so you just draw it up like that just draw it up like that then you sew and then you tie the rope if you notice it is so long you tie it more than once you can tie it twice or three times depending on your preference so just keep tying 
so after tying it this is what it looks like this is what it looks like on my body if you don't want yours to be this big you can reduce it and if you want it to be bigger you can increase it so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for liking for commenting for subscribing for sharing thank you so so much so thank you so much for watching my video and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial bye